thick. I mean, talking to, to Lou, our showrunner, I mean, she's got the craziest theories and they make the scripts. When I started telling people that I was going to be in this show and when people started finding out, a lot of people thought that the series would jump 15 years ahead and I would play the older version of Nia, which I thought was really funny. <laughs> so I heard this one. <laughs> um, that we are all angels and that we're in purgatory, which is really interesting. My grandma quite sincerely asked me if I was just playing myself. That was pretty funny. I had a theory that I realised Patrick Bramwell has maybe already told you and maybe he didn't credit me as being the owner of this theory. Was something about Chris's olive oil that he makes. Anyone who tastes his olive oil comes back, it's like life-giving properties or he's bringing people back from the dead or something. That was a good one. In season one, Chris gives two bottles of olive oil to two different people. Gives one bottle each to two different people. He gives one to Vic Eastley, who then promptly crashes his car, dies, comes back. And then he gives one to Sarah, who then goes through childbirth, dies in childbirth, comes back as well. The olive oil one, that Chris is somehow the mastermind of bringing people back from the dead, which Johnny Leary really wanted to run with. He really wanted to be the kingpin of Urana, the olive oil king of Urana. But then that was entirely blown out of the water because he doesn't give a bottle of olive oil to Phil. Although he is working on a offshore rig which could be an oil rig, but I think is gas.